<sighs> I leave Chiang Mai tonight. I'm sad about it. Also, can we just give it up for this lighting? Shout out to you, son. Shout out to this corner window for giving what needs to be given. Am I right? Before I get into some reflections, I'm not gonna go too deep because I don't have the storage. Um, emotionally, physically, just kidding, on my phone. But I did want to talk a little bit about the amulet that I got yesterday that um, Noi picked for me. I showed it to you, but I didn't explain. And I just got like a download as to why he chose this. And cause I noticed that he was digging through something before I gave my offering. I don't know if you can hear the background, but we're just gonna keep it rolling. So I noticed that he was really digging through the amulets and chose this with intention. And I had no idea that it was gonna be for me. And what I realized was I think he was really looking for something with a tiger because we were talking about the tiger before I entered to do my Sakyant and he was explaining the symbolism of the tiger because cats in general are big for me. And I kept seeing a tiger when I would think of my Sakyant and he was saying, you know, tigers are, you know, they're fierce, they're protectors, they're hunters, but they're also great protection of the mind and that's what really started my emotional like oh shit here we go because again like i mentioned if you saw my sakyan video that was the main thing that i talked about was the war that i've been fighting in my mind and releasing the fear so that i could like really just live my life so this is the amulet he chose for me and I believe that he was looking for that tiger to give to me because he knew it would mean a lot to me and then the Ajarn blessed it for me. So this is gonna go on my altar when I get home. As for today, I have a night flight, so I don't leave Chiang Mai till 9.45. I don't know why I did that. I think I just wanted to give myself more time in the city. I'm gonna see JJ again today. JJ, if you saw my videos, was our local tour guide for the retreat. She lives in Chiang Mai, so she's gonna pick me up at noon and take me out for a little bit. Otherwise, I know I'm not getting too deep on this video. I'll save it for when I probably get back home, but I can't help but reflect on the first video that I posted on my departure day. I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. You know that I got really emotional. I was having a lot of anxiety. I was panicking um, and that was so many different things, but this is obviously a far away place. I'm very far from home. I don't, I didn't know anyone. Now I do. And I didn't know what to expect. And I realized that one of my deepest fears is powerlessness, feeling helpless, feeling powerless. And I've noticed that throughout my life. That's why I've clung to control whenever I could. I have been blindsided by life more times than I can count. And I hated the feeling every single time. And so this was really scary for me. And I wanted to face that fear because uncertainty is certain you know like i i can't run from uncertainty and i've noticed how unconsciously again the shadow unconsciously my fear of powerlessness has created habits that aren't necessarily true to who i am at my core you know because there would be this sort of egoic like i need to dominate i need to control i need to have power in order to feel safe and that would bleed into relationships that would bleed into just my daily life and it wasn't it wasn't fun you know it wasn't healthy and i didn't like it and so releasing that control has been difficult for me and I knew coming on this trip, I wasn't gonna have a lot of control, but I also knew that it was going to show me what I needed to see. Remember, I keep talking about experiential evidence on this journey, and that's where I'm at now. I've done the mental work, I've done the spiritual work. That continues to keep going, of course, but the really deep-rooted work, I've done that, and now I'm seeing the tangible evidence of that work. And this trip was that for me, because on this trip, I realized, Uncertainty is gonna happen. And the opposite of uncertainty is not certainty. It's self-trust. And that's what I learned on this trip. I learned how to trust myself. I knew no matter what, I'm okay because I got me. 
and I needed that so that I'm not walking around this world full of fear and always trying to control everything or everyone in order to feel safe. I am always safe. I am safe. I am protected and I can trust myself regardless of my external environment. And that's been a great gift that this trip has given me. Look at who's here. JJ is back. <laughs> she is thankfully entertaining me when I have a hundred hours before my flight. And she brought little crepes. So we're gonna try. Oh, that's good. It's light. Yes. One more time. Kanom buang. Kanom buang. Buang. Kanom buang. because I'm always early, still early, because my car got there early and they won't check my bag because they're not even doing that yet. But it worked out because I know I need to eat something and unfortunately what caught my eye was something that was um, definitely not good for me, but I don't care because it's delicious and I'm gonna show you. Potato corner. I know my body's like, bitch, but my heart is like, yeah. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, I'm back in Phuket for 12 hours. Just a pit stop to get some sleep before my flight back home tomorrow. Um, I'm exhausted. It is like almost one in the morning. The flight was delayed, so we didn't land till past midnight. And then luckily I, I booked a driver ahead of time, so that was smart. Then I got to the hotel and no one was at the front desk and the driver left and I was like, 
Um, hello? I was about to post up on their little couch. Call it a night, I'm exhausted. But luckily someone came like after 10, 15 minutes. So I'm, I'm just gonna knock out and then it's back to LA tomorrow.